Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And today I went back to one of the areas that I previously tested with T-Mobile. So I will leave a link to that video in the description down below. And to my surprise, in one of the areas, N41 was actually live for the first time. And I immediately noticed a difference. If some of you have already watched that video where I tested T-Mobile, you saw in the video that a lot of the areas were congested and some were below 20, some were below 10 megabits per second. This was one of the areas that was below 10 megabits per second. As you can see now, it's doing three to 400 megabits per second. I pulled, I peaked at one point closer to 500, but it was around three to 400. So that was very impressive. I the videos that you're seeing here, each of them, I, I tested each of the sectors to make sure that N41 was on on all of the sectors and it was on on all of the sectors. So that was good to see. On this video, I did not test range. I tested the range after the video. So I was still pulling two to 300 megabits per second, about a mile, a mile and a half away from the site. So I went on one of the sectors. I went the opposite direction from another site because there was another site about a about a mile and a half to two miles down the road that did not have N41. So I went in a direction the sector was pointing where T-Mobile did not have a tower nearby. And like I said, about a mile, a mile and a half, I was still able to pull between two to 300. Then when I got down to around two to one bar, I was still able to do over 100 megabits per second in, in that area. And that was a neighborhood again. So... It's definitely impressive. I would like to see it a little faster just from a capacity standpoint. El Paso does have a huge amount of subscribers for T-Mobile. But then again, there's more spectrum that can be dedicated towards N41 at a later time. And then there's a there's additional backhaul boosts that are coming, which potentially could drive up the speed past a gigabit pretty soon. So this is early on. This is the early implementation. As I mentioned, there's still lots of spectrum for T-Mobile to incorporate here. There's still Sprint mid-band spectrum that can be added to 5G. Band 2, Band 4, Band 66 can still go DSS. They still have another, in this market, another after the 60 that are, that are added to N41 now. There's another 60 to 70 megahertz that they can incorporate per tower. So there's still a lot of leg for T-Mobile left. Um, they don't own the 180 or 186 megahertz that they do in some of the markets here. They're kind of tapped out at 130 megahertz on N41, but that's still solid. They still have about 100 megahertz of, of, of the lower end frequency mid-band, the band twos, the band fours. So once you incorporate all that together, it should make for a pretty decent network. So let me know what you think about this. This is, again, this is an immediate increase in speeds for that area. You know, better for day-to-day -day activities, probably better calls. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I wanted to get this out there to you guys as fast as I can to show you that there is a big increase in speeds in that area now that N41 is active. So if you have been on the channel or you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Also, follow the social media outlets for more updates, more interactions. The videos are going on Twitter. If YouTube has not notified you within a timely manner, so make sure to follow the Twitter. And thanks again for watching. I'll leave you guys with the last few seconds of this video. And you guys have a good one. Peace.